on today's show. He's a writer, producer, and he's a heartbreaker, a dream maker, and a love taker. Don't you mess around with David Marker. She is an actress and writer who's running with the shadows of the night, so baby, take her hand. It'll be all right. It's Stephanie Weir. She's the creator of Nerdtainment and a real tough cookie with a long history of breaking little hearts like the one in me. It's Sarah Atwood. And finally, whatever we deny or embrace, for worse or for better, we belong to our host, Douglas Sarine. Thank you, Sarah, and welcome everyone to Sight Unseen, the guessing game where our distinguished panel attempts to guess the purpose, aims, and possibly even the names of unique URLs. As always, the panel must only ask yes or no questions. They get as many yes answers they can string together before they get 10 no answers and are defeated by the internet. Panel, how are you doing today? Hi. Good. Hi. Hey, welcome, welcome. Here's Hi. a couple hypotheticals. <laughs> Sarah, would you rather spend one year walking around England or one day walking on the moon? Oh, a year in England, please. I, I would pay for that. That is, oh, okay. that is my dream. That's my retirement plan. That's you know, there's only 12 people who've ever walked on the moon. Uh, yeah, no, that's very far away and very scary. And no, thank you. I don't want to. <laughs> All right. Uh, David, a ship yep. with intelligent life form has landed on Earth, and you are offered the opportunity to be the very first person to interact with them. Do you take it? No, I'm in the middle <laughs> of the UFO episode of Unsolved Mysteries, and I don't want anything to do with getting abducted onto an alien aircraft. <laughs> you, you won't be the first, the first person. No. <laughs> Stephanie, mm -hmm. you have to replace the moon with one of the following U.S. states, California, Texas, or New York. Which one would you move up to the moon? I'm going to say California. <laughs> California. Oh. I'm going to say it would be kind of uh, uh, fun to kind of get away uh, but I, I don't want to go to the moon Stephanie. oh that's right that's right there is some travel involved there's that trip you're right okay we'll do texas yeah. then oh yeah, just you're, you're, out there. your home state you're gonna send your my home state yeah i'll send them and then i'll just go visit my family in there texas you go. how many people do y'all think are in space right now Th throw out some numbers oh my god is are there people up there uh, three how many 18 18 versus oh. three stephanie how many 12 12. All right, let's check in uh, with how many people are in space right now.com. And there are five. There are five people Whoa! in space right now. There is a, literally a website called how many people are in space right now.com <laughs> where you can go and see uh, these five Look, people. Look, there's their names. So, Doug Hurley. I know Doug Hurley. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> used to work at the same car wash. Doug. Sure. Well, now he's a flight engineer in space. What, you know? That's so crazy because he said he way. wanted to do that. He said he wanted to do that. <laughs> all that Doug like... ever talked about. Well, totally let's get did. into our first website. Our first website is dedicated to a clock. This is a unique clock that we're looking for. And your hint is that this clock has an interesting way of representing each of the 1,440 minutes of the day. We give our panel a wild guess just based on that information. Sarah, what do you think the deal is with this clock? Um, it's made of mushrooms. I... Ah, sure. Good. The mushroom clock. Sure. David, what do you think? Is it the atomic clock? Atomic clock. Of course. Yeah. Steph, what do you think? Oh gosh. Is this like a clock that's c counting deaths? Oh, a death, a death clock. Oh my goodness. I'm sure there are all of those clocks that exist, but they are not the specific clock that we are looking for. So Sarah, we're gonna start our questioning with you to find out what the, is this unique clock is. Does this clock have anything to do with fictional characters? No. One down, nine to go. David. Is there only one of this clock? <laughs> yes, and it's this website. <laughs> yes. Oh, so is this a digital clock? I'm gonna say no, it's not a digital clock. Uh, two down, eight to go, step. Is this clock a physical clock that you could pick up? No, it is not a physical clock that you could pick up. Aside from the fact that you could pick up a computer, you would not be able to mm -hmm. pick up this clock. Three down, mm -hmm. seven to go, Sarah. Is this clock telling time? Yes. Does this clock in, involve food in any way? It, it could, but that is, uh, I would say that I would give you a no on that because it's not inherent to the... Uh, mm -hmm. nature of this clock. So four down, mm -hmm. six to go, David. So this clock is on like the 24 hour timeline that we associate with a day. Yes. 
Just good old regular time. Does it have numbers? Yes. Does it have anything other than numbers in terms of displaying the time? Yes. Are there pictures in addition to numbers? Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, are they pictures of people? Some. Okay. Are the pictures associated? Do they have some relation to the time of day that they're... Like if, if there's a picture with 107 p.m., does the picture have something to do with 107? Or does yes. it like maybe it's a, oh, okay. oh. Yes. Yes, this it does. Good. This feels good, David. Is this clock associated with a company? No, it's not associated with a company. But you're getting darn close uh, right now. Uh, five down, five to go, Steph. The pictures that are on this clock, are they of one location? No, they are not of one location. Six down, four to go, Sarah. You guys are almost there. Do the numbers in the pictures uh, of this clock, do they have any connection to royalty? <laughs> no, of course you wish that they did, but they, yeah. Yeah. they don't. Seven yeah. down, three to go. Ugh. David, I, uh, this is your late round clue is that I okay. almost gave it to you when you said, are there pictures of people? That was... Yeah. Almost, almost exactly what I wanted, but uh, you were very close with that. Okay, okay. People, <laughs> okay. people. David, people. people, people time, people numbers, people numbers, <laughs> numbers, people. Sarah, Again, Sarah, Sarah it is David's people turn to get. <laughs> Are there multiple pictures associated mm -hmm. with any given time? Yes, absolutely. Is hmm. there a hmm. picture for each digit in the time? No, there's not a picture for each digit in the time. So I'm going to say no, eight down, two to go. But there is a picture for each minute. Does this involve babies being born? <laughs> no, it is not a baby, oh. baby yeah. clock. Got, oh, clock of babies. Nine down, one to go. Oh, no. I think you've already gotten it. And so I think i just being picky right now because I okay. think you've already gotten it. Hmm. 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 I oh, don't feel like we've gotten it. Yeah, <laughs> I, don't, I don't have a clear picture. Huh. Yeah. So it's a it's a clock of <clears throat> pictures of people representing minutes. I'm going to say that's it. I'm going hey, to say that that is, is one is 100 it. To introduce you I'll just to rephrase it for David. the human clock. <laughs> This the is human the human clock. This is the human oh, clock. So aside I from the fact that my joke guess was going to be, is it the people clock? <laughs> See, oh, yes. Often your your joke is the thing that is correct. So <laughs> yeah. this is so this guy runs this beautiful website that is inspiring people to take pictures of the time wherever they are and whatever they're doing. So it's twelve fifty five oh, right now, and people oh, wow. uh, send in pictures of 12.55 in various oh, regions wow. of Portland. So it's mm -hmm. aggregating these right now at that time. It's pulling them from your, wow. from wherever your computer yeah. is. And people send these. Oh, look guys, the time just changed to 12.56. And so now it's 12.56. Oh. 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 Now it's all, updating. Now it's all pictures of 12.56. That oh. is actually very, very cool. That is yes. cool. This is him, and he represents each. So he, there's a picture of him doing the whole clock. I think it was ah. him, he and his wife. Oh. That's fine. Very cool find. Very cool. For our next website, we have a unique sporting event. And your hint is that the world championships for this sporting event take place in Wales, UK. Hmm. We give our panel a wild guess just based on that. David, what do you think this sporting event is? I think it is corgi sheep herding. Corgi sheep herding. I bet that takes place in Wales, Sarah. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, the uh, crown tossing. Crown, <laughs> crown tossing. Uh, Steph. The uh, library putting books back on the shelf. Oh, yeah, the restocking, the restocking, restocking the library. Yeah, sure. No, I'm sorry, it's not any of those. And Sarah, every single guest can't be about royalty. I'm, no? I'm gonna, make a, I'm gonna make a rule on now. You said Wales, you started it. <laughs> I did say Wales. So we're looking for a unique sporting event. And your hint is that the world championships take place in Wales. And David, we'll start our guessing with you. Is it a team sport? No, it is an individual sport. One down, nine to go, Steph. Is singing involved? No, there is no singing involved. Mm -hmm. Two down, eight to go, Sarah. Are there animals involved? Other than humans, no. 
No mm. animals involved. So if you're okay, I'll say no. Three down, seven to go. <laughs> I David. am okay. Is it a sport where you are physically active? Yes, it is definitely a physically active sport. Is there running involved? No, there's not running involved. Four down, six to go, step. Is there water involved? Yes, there's absolutely uh, water involved. Uh, here we go. Okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. In high school, I went to Cardiff, Wales. Mm. There were these hot springs. Is it the log thing? Where you you stand on the oh, log, uh, log rolling, uh, log rolling. Log. Uh, no, I it is leap there. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, you don't want to jump onto a rolling log, but no, it is not log rolling. <laughs> five down, five to go, Sarah. Not log rolling in water. It's in water, and it's individual. Is it just the individual in water? Yes, it is just the individual in water. <laughs> Does it involve? Exiting the land and entering the water. To start? <laughs> well, yeah. I, don't, <laughs> yes. I don't even know what I'm asking. It's not, it's not mer people. Um, <laughs> okay. Is the that? sport just take place in the water then? Yes. Okay. So we're not diving. We're, not we're diving. just in the water. Is this sport timed? Is yes. it how fast you can do something? Mm -hmm. It's absolutely yes. It is how fast you can do it. Is it dancing it, no, that's not it. Is it um, how <laughs> is it how fast you can swim from <sighs> across Wales? No, it is not how fast you can swim across Wales. So okay, uh, six down, four to go, David. It is swimming. Yes, people are yes. swimming in this yep, sport. Yep. Am I correct in thinking that it is about how fast you can do something, not how long you can do something? Yes, you are correct. It's about okay, how fast. Raising this so that I can get a yes. So that yes. I can, so mm -hmm. I, does it have to do with swimming in a specific body of water? Yes. Oh, <gasps> do you is know it, any water in Wales? Just those thoughts. Just to, just to clarify, a, a, a type <laughs> of body of water. Is it does it have to do with the temperature of the water? No, it does not have to do with the temperature of the water. I'll go ahead and tell you, it's not the <laughs> hot springs. And since you've gotten that far, I'll give you your late round clue. And your late round clue, thank you, David, for sending us down that path, is a water-filled trench of 60 yards in length must be cut through a peat bog by the organizers. That is the first rule of the uh, of this competition. A water-filled trench of 60 yards in length must be cut through a peat bog by the organizers. Does this involve diving for things? No, you're not diving for things. Eight down, two to go, Sarah. Is it how fast you can swim um, in a certain style of swimming? Yes, yeah, yes, I will say that, yes. Okay, I'm just gonna go out on a limb and say, is it the backstroke world champions. No, it is not. And as a matter of fact, Sarah. you're not allowed to use any uh, of those strokes. You're not allowed to do freestyle or breaststroke or butterfly. I don't think you're allowed to do anything uh, too much with your with your uh, with your arms. With your oh. arms. Mm -hmm. Oh, David. And then David, just to give you a little <laughs> help, to, to okay, before thanks. you jump off the cliff, Sarah was thinking about asking if there were any. Um, Equipment, equipment apparatuses need yeah needed yeah and uh, yes okay does the apparatus oh god i'm hoping i get it i have to ask something that's going to get a yes david how are you going to phrase it let me just talk to the team first i want to yeah, ask yeah. if it's something like i'm i'm envisioning like your face is in the water the whole time and maybe you have like a breathing tube and that's like a piece of equipment and how fast can you Mm -hmm. Go with your face in the water the whole time, but like snorkel swimming, snorkel swimming. But you can't use your arms. It seems like this. Oh is yeah, like so you're just something. Your legs. Guys, I'm gonna give what? it to you because David said it. Is it snorkel swimming? <laughs> it is snorkel swimming, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the World Bog Snorkeling oh Championship. <laughs> it's an annual swimming competition that uh, you, they go through uh, bog trenches and uh, people uh, swim, swim away here. The swim is very boggy can't... for me. OMG. That, it doesn't look that hard. Is there an animal in there that's going to look at you? Yeah, it doesn't seem hard at all, but I guess <laughs> speed isn't. 
Oh my God, look at that. It's a frog. Oh, mouth. look at him. So proud of himself. <laughs> it was on CNN. Wow. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. The world. This is like the first time David hasn't asked if it's televised. <laughs> it's true. I always <laughs> ask that about sports. <laughs> people put on different costumes. Oh, that's fun. They'll dress up in different ways. A lot of people have a lot of fun with it. Bug mm -hmm. snorkeling uh, occurs in other places. Great job, guys. <laughs> Good uh, job, David. I was who, like, who, no. yeah, who you're just like you're sneaking those in there. Like, yeah. <laughs> I keep being like, we did, we won. We yeah. <laughs> yeah. Guys, we're moving on now to our internet speed round. And in this round, I put 120 seconds on the clock and you guys just keep throwing questions at me. No's don't matter. Turns don't matter. Anybody can throw out a question at any time. You guys are just seeing if in two minutes you can discover what this website is. This website that we're looking for is a DIY site. So a uh, do-it-yourself uh, site. And your hint is that he says on the site, I built this site to help others find their inspiration for DIY blank and share it with other fellow blank enthusiasts. I built the site to help others find their inspiration for DIY blank and to share it with fellow blank enthusiasts. I'm going to put two minutes on the clock. Hit me with some questions. Go ahead. Does it have to do with food? No, it does not have to do with food. There's one item that we're DIYing. No. Do you usually hire a, a contractor? No, you would not usually hire a contractor. Do you use wood for this? You could, but uh, I would say typically no. Does it go in your home? No, I, would, I think it's safe to say no on that. Are we building something new or are we re recycling something old? Uh, often you're recycling something old into something new. Does he use fabric? Uh, yeah, yeah. I was going to ask if water was involved, but with fabric, I, uh, I don't think we're building. No, there's tools. no water or bogs or snorkeling involved. <laughs> <laughs> but we usually do this outside. No. No, it's large. No, not, not uh, it could be, but typically no. It's handheld size? No. Is it oh. art? Uh, I, artistic. Is it functional? Uh, yeah. Tense. Uh, no, your 30 second hint is that this DIY creation is focused on one day of the year. So mm. it's for a holiday? Uh, yes. Uh, is it New for Christmas? Christmas? Uh, it is not for Christmas. Uh, Valentine's Day. It is not Valentine's Day. It is not 4th of July. Mm. St. Patrick's Day is closed. It's not St. Patrick's Day. Oh, is it gosh. Labor Day? Memorial it is not Labor Day. Four seconds left. Easter. Oh my Easter. God. Not Easter. Halloween. Easter. Halloween. Easter. David with one second left. David comes in under the wire. You guys, how is he doing this? David with is one awesome. second <laughs> left. David what? said what? Halloween. Oh, right, guys, I'm going to introduce you to coolest homemade costumes dot com. Oh my oh. god. Coolest Homemade costumes.com. Mm. Here you can mm. find last minute wow. costumes, sexy costumes, group costumes, couple costumes, child costumes, all different types of costumes. And he created this just for people who want to make their own costumes. There's a little uh, Forrest Gump. There's Lieutenant Dan and hey. Forrest Gump. Hey. We got a cat lady costume. Yes. Uh, four of a kind. Four. A little child Pretty dressed. Much. Oh, the it. Uh, Pennywise. Uh, Penny. Yeah. Pennywise, sure, sure. Wow. Wow, of course. <laughs> I always that's hilarious. <laughs> that's Predator. Somebody knitted a Predator costume. Oh, that's my God. Brilliant. Sure, late night. Oh, late night host. Yeah. This is a, a wheelchair costume for this gal. Oh, that's She's a fun. deer through a, going through a windshield. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, no. They, that is amazing. They built oh, it around her my wheelchair. Gosh. I'm mad at myself for not jumping to Halloween costumes. <laughs> I would be so mad oh. if I hadn't got this. Of and all they, the holidays, why yeah, not Halloween first and foremost? I'm it's mad at myself to too, Sarah. There. I have one for their site. I'm going to have to go on. My son went as a serial killer and we glued uh, Fruit Loops all over his mask and had little cereal boxes <sighs> and then a big wooden spoon that was covered in little Fruit Loops. <laughs> yeah. You have to submit it here because they can They'll, they can use it. Discover what it is. Congratulations, okay. guys. David, I can't believe it. there was literally, it was yeah. one second was ticking off the clock as you said it. Has David guessed all of them? Okay, uh, don't rub yeah. it in. <laughs> We've gotten three, right? I mean, I don't want to put the pressure uh, on, but we have. You guys three. have gotten three. So, Apparently. Steph, just mm -hmm. so you know, only once 
before in the history of sight unseen yeah. has a, a team gone four for four. Awesome. So there's a lot of pressure on you going into this last site. And if you don't get it, it seems like you will be blamed for it. No, honestly, it's all on David at this point. David. Oh, yeah, it's on David. Right. Yeah, it's David, you will be blamed. Yeah. Sarah and Seth, you guys can take the uh, the next couple of minutes off. The ball is not ready. <laughs> now we move on to our celebrity sighting round. For this okay. round, the panel tries to guess a famous person or group of people, living or dead, that has an official website. We offer no clues for this one, and we will start our questioning with you, Stephanie, to discover the website for this famous person. Is this person a singer? No, this person is not known for singing. No, no, one okay. down, nine to go, Sarah. Are they a performer? Yes, they are a performer. Are they an actor? Yes, they are an actor. Is this a female? Yes, this is a female. Email. Is she still alive? Yes, she is still alive. Ooh, Sarah. Killer, Sarah. Ooh. David, David, you are not needed. Yeah. No. <laughs> Do we see her mostly on television? No, you do not see her mostly on television. Two down, eight to go, David. Is she Caucasian? Yes, she is Caucasian. Is she under 40 years old? No, she is not under 40 years old. Three down, seven to go, Steph. Is she <laughs> married? Yes, as of present, she is married. Does she have children? Yes, she has two children. Oh, wow, a little clue. Yeah, I thought, I thought I'd go ahead and give you that. Are her children famous? <laughs> to the best of my knowledge, her children are not famous. Ooh. Four down, six to go, Sarah. Do I see this woman mostly in movies? If we're talking about the world, I say the world knows her mostly from movies. So I'll say yes. Okay. Is she American? Yes, she's American. Good question. Is it Mary Steenberg? <gasps> Mary, Is that her? How do you say her last name? Mary Steenbergen. Bergen? Is Bergen? it Mary Steenbergen? No, it is not. Oh, I would have been so happy if it were. <laughs> five down, five to go, David. It's David. The bill. Is, has she been in a movie in the past five years? Yes, she has been in a movie in the last five is years. Is she more known for dramatic acting? No, she is not known for dramatic acting. Six down, four to go. she over 70 years old? No, she is not over 70 years old. Seven down, three to go, Sarah. Is she brunette? Typically, no, she is not brunette. Eight down, two to go, David. And it's just to clarify on the movie TV thing, she has been nominated for two Emmys. So she is both known for TV and film, but I would say on the global scale, she's probably more known for her film work. Is her husband famous? Mm, yeah, that famous in a different yes. realm, famous differently. I literally can only think of brunette television actresses right now. I just like can't mm -hmm. even. Well, you need to be thinking mm -hmm. movie. I'm right? sorry. I but am it was, the answer was yeah, no brunette. to brunette. Yeah. The only one that I could think of was Leslie Mann. And so I was like wondering. Oh. But I think her kids are famous. So like, I don't Oh, and her husband is. And her husband is. This. Yeah. I think, I think Douglas definitely knows he who does know Douglas is. Yeah. So is she typically blonde? Yes, she's typically blonde. Okay. Is she on a Netflix series? No, she was not. Is she known for one character or mostly? I'm gonna say no. I'm going to say no. I'm going to say no, guys. I, I really think I thought that was going to be a yes. Yeah, globally, maybe you might, you, you can argue with me on it, but I'm going to say no. I'm talking to Thanks. you about Elizabeth Banks. Yes. Oh. Yes. Good old Elizabeth Banks. And Definitely. guys, if we scroll Hi. down here enough with Elizabeth Banks, guess what? There's Elizabeth Banks snorkeling. Hey, hey. Oh, I thought it was going to just... be her as the queen. No, she's just <laughs> snorkeling in a pool, though. But I would say worldwide, she's probably known for her Hunger Games and, and some of her uh, film she work. She is known for one character. She is known Ooh. for Hunger Games character. You th yeah, you're really you're gonna argue with I'm, me? David, that? I'm just trying. Lots of geeky I stuff. Oh, is, I, I, I was thinking I older. I was thinking yeah. much older. She still comes across very young. So she's 46. 
Oh, she looks uh, great. Her. In her. Fashion. She has no, that great type hoo ha ha. Yeah, she so let's let's talk about hoo ha ha. Spotlights and supports oh. women in comedy. Yeah, so I think that's why I I associated her with comedy. Yeah. yeah. For sure. Yeah, for and sure. I would associate her with comedy. And she's doing this uh, uh, pitch perfect. I think she's also known for those movies. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hoo Ha Ha is definitely worth checking out. Hoo Ha Ha highlighted one of uh, a web series I was in. So thank you for that. Oh, nice. uh, oh. There it is right there. Oh, oh, oh. Where, where is it? It's that second one, right? Untidy with Marie yeah. Kondo. Yeah, Sarah's in this web series. <laughs> Oh, uh, I'm Elizabeth so sorry, Banks. Elizabeth Banks. We love yeah. you. Mm. Yes. She's oh, a, gosh. That's but she was in 40-Year-Old Virgin that. with Leslie Mann. Yes. Guys, you seen came so close uh, to taking home the big trophy today. It's just going to be a slightly smaller trophy, but still, you did oh a great God. job. Yeah. It was Panel 3, Internet 1. That's our show. A special thanks to all of the websites we mentioned and to the internet for being the baseball hat uh, of the team that we get to watch for 60 games. Uh, mm. Please like, subscribe, <laughs> comment, and Patreon entertainment. You won't regret it. We appreciate it. Uh, Steph, you got a, a YouTube channel with some fun videos coming out right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I do. At Weird Ass, and it's uh, W-E-I-R-D-A-S-S, -S, right? That's right. My last name, Weir, and my husband's last name is Dassey. So we're Weird Ass. Nice. Combine those together. We'll put a link to that in the in the Great. show notes. But go check out that YouTube channel. I bet there's going to be lots of fun things there. For Stephanie Weir, David Marker, and Sarah Atwood, I'm Douglas Ryan. Thank you for seeing Sight Unseen. May all of your search results always be optimal. Mm -hmm.